Hey gang. So, here we are. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's a Monday afternoon, Monday evening in fact, it's late. Long ass day today, not happy, not happy with today. Today was just one of those days where it all went. But the good news is I'm gonna do a random, not even random, I'm gonna do a raw, straight from the lip, shrink rip. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's do this. Let's have a look at this package from Lock and Load. Let's see what's inside. You know, I don't usually have a cocktail on a Monday night, but today was just that day where none of it went right. The CFO calls you and says, hey, you know that AOP you've been working on for three weeks? I screwed up and totally trashed the, the spreadsheet. All the formulas are wrong. We need to, uh, we need to have a do-over. That was not a good day. All right, let's see what we got here. So, I, <coughs> uh, David Heath gave me a call and said he was going to send this over. And I said, awesome, there's some extra things in the bag. So this battle generator for yeah, Heroes of Normandy clearly does not come with the game. And I, there's extra maps in here, which I forget what they're for, but that's okay. So we got this game and I need a knife. Let's see what's inside. I need a knife. I haven't used this for a while. Look at that pudgy little guy. Okay, let's see what's in here on the back. Six counter sheets, whoa, six counter sheets and six maps. Six geomorphic maps. Module rule scenario booklet, core system, yada yada yada, two dice. And 30 scenarios, wow. So this is, as you most of you know, I know all the people that are probably watching this. Most of you have probably already got this already. I think it's been out for a couple of weeks. I'm not sure what the deal is. Let's see. It is, uh, Heroes of Normandy is a combination of Band of Euros, Swift and the Bold. Um... I could get one else. You know what? I am so freaking tired. I've been working for a bunch of hours today. A long time. Up for a long time. So I'm just going to run through this. Let's have a look at it. Now let's uh, let's get the initial impressions. Uh, first up, box. It looks pretty nice, huh? It's uh, kind of got that gloss to it. It's sturdy. Uh, you know, you're not going to be putting a um, counter tray in this bad boy, though. I will say that much. Let's, especially if there's 650 counters. Let's see what we got here. Certificate of Authenticity, that's always nice. There we go, number 115. So it probably means a lot of you have already got this. Core Rules Manual, look at the uh, cover artwork uh, on that bad boy. That looks pretty groovy, doesn't it? I like this kind of blending of uh, map artwork into something sort of historical. And then, yeah. Don't panic, all you new guys that have never seen this game before. Ooh, look at that. Reference table. Huh, so this is like a little cheat sheet. Very cool. Okay, let me just check here. Let me see, for instance, if you could do this. Yeah, you could pretty much play the game with this without having to do rules referencing. It's even got the odds here. The glossary in the back, that's a nice touch. Okay, Jeff Lewis was the lead on the development. It's an example of play, a long example of, the pl of play in the back. Uh, 56 pages basically of rules and I was as I was gonna say for you newbies uh, look there's lots of clarifications here blue text is going to be um, amplifications clarifications of existing rules uh, I have not really played the World War two editions at all so I can't really comment on you know the, the rules are all the same anyway, pretty much, other than choppers and uh, maybe planes. There's a, and there's a few special rules for night vision and stuff like that for the modern stuff. But in essence, the game that the rules are 
consistent throughout, but this has a, a bunch of edits and updates here. Specific for World War II by the looks of it. You'll see this blue text here. I don't know if you can see this well. I'm really not paying attention. I'm actually just looking at the rules. There's a lot of a lot of text in a lot of text, a lot of content in here, but really nicely laid out. Big pictures. Now here's some examples, right? So while it's 56 pages, it's not a daunting 56 pages. These are these are kind of chatty. Uh, conversational style rules and it's not this strict uh, point uh, point by point based set of rules it's all pretty straightforward see look you've got big pieces of artwork here as well try and blend things in make it uh, more consumable nice big artwork at the front index at the front that's pretty cool so anyway you've you've probably all seen that before right? Scenario module rules and scenario rules. Uh, this is another big honker. Look at that bad boy. These are all 30 scenarios in here. Sweet. So you've got everything from Rebecca, can you see me rolling through Holding Hell's Highway? 84 pages. So from page 10 to page 84 uh, rule, uh, uh, scenarios. And then you've got uh, specific rules for glider landings. The SSS fanaticism, SS dedicated, German squad reduction. There's a special rule for that. British forces, special rule for that. American forces, glider rifle infantry, well supplied, American squad reduction, and American heroes. Shell and smoke laying capabilities. That's a rule that uh, Jeff Newell will be interested in. Let's see what they say about the smoke. Where did I see that? Units of all nationalities have smoke lane capacity of two. Thus, they generate smoke on a roll of two or less. There you go, Jeff. It's the Jeff Newell rule. He whined and complained so much, he got the rule changed. Let's hope it doesn't change the scenarios. Okay, these are all very nice. This is all excellent stuff. Lots of good scenarios. Great layout on the scenarios, as you can see. Very clear. Special scenario rules as needed. Little historical background where possible. Um, special rules for these here and there. Now oh, look at this. That's very cool. Okay. So once again, 84 pages, but lots of uh, imagery and content in here that is groovy. I'll let you have a little look at that. Let's have a look at the counters and see how they all are laid out. Rule reference card, which is what we saw in the back of the rules book originally, and they've got this nice layout in summary format. Now in the modern games, they do this on a one-sheeter and they kind of put the rules down the middle and then they have all the weapons around the side, front and back, uh, all the weapons, all the, uh, all the vehicles, and that's kind of a nice uh, format as well. Another has a player aid card with uh, the direct fire table, which is your uh, machine guns and grenades and things like that. Your melee table here. Sorry about the glare, guys. Maybe we can turn this down a little bit. Nope. Uh, terrain. Including mines and bunkers and things. Ordnance and uh, the DFT modifiers. Yeah, here, this thing here. Yeah, you can pretty much run your game, most games, off of this table here. You're not going to need, once you know line of sight and the sequence of places, or you really need to play with. You've got your Tigers and your Panzer IVs and your M18s and 10s and 5s and all sorts of fun, good stuff. ATGs, all that good stuff. All right. School reference cards for heroes and leaders that receive them. A turn track with... Uh, there's some DRMs that you can play optional rules. They apply DRMs to the uh, ordnance firing based on speed and size modifiers, things like that. Okay, now we've got all the regular standard size maps and now it's so funny that I look at these maps now and I go, wow, these are really tiny maps, which are cool if you want nice small maps. These are cool, right? So there's all those. There, there are these... Uh, thingies, right, the, the cards, school cards. Now here are the big maps. Look at these bad boys. 
hope you can see those perfectly. I'm trying to get them laid out. Wow. These look great like this. As you may be wondering what the red dots are for, the red dots are for a different type of building structure. Stone versus wood, basically. These look epic. These are great. Okay. Now, there was one little thing here I wanted to have a look at. I'll look at it before I... Uh... Actually, where'd it go? Here it is, here. Yeah, on the back of... What's on the back of here? Okay, a bit of artwork, and I'll oh, just not skills reference. Okay, I guess they just filled that in. There's a, a, a more skill cards there. All right, counters. Let's check them out. Two bags to hold some units in. You guys can see that. Okay, I'll zoom in in a second. So you've got your SS. SS units, I think these are false from here, yeah. Tanks, Stugs, Stugs, Half Tracks, that's one sheet. Here's a second sheet, yeah. And you've got uh, all the different formations there. You've got one set here, Heroes. Vehicles down the bottom. Then you've got your German regulars. I would say, generally speaking, that the offsets on these look pretty nifty. Uh, well done. The counters. I had someone say to me the other day that they thought the counters were a little bit thinner than the original, uh, the original counters. And they may well be just slightly thinner. Now it looks like this guy here is just a little, tiny little bit high there. These two here, look, this row. Looks like it's just this row. But then they they even out over here. So that's, you know, minor problem. You can still read the counters just fine. These are all perfect here. Here you've got some airborne dudes. Touching the screen instead, of, I'm touching the you know, the counters instead of touching the screen to uh, make it some focus. Sergeant Hill, you've got your uh, skill cards here, and then two sheets. I imagine two sheets of uh, two sheets. No, one sheet of information counters and another sheet. Here's the British, of course. I've got about our little pommy mates right there. You go. I don't know if you can see those. Okay, probably not doing a terribly good job of showing these to you. Okay. And so you've got the various, you've got obviously uh, these fellas look like uh, paras. I don't know if you can see that okay or not. I've got the camera to one side, so I can't really tell. And uh, I don't know this unit emblem, I probably should, but I don't. British vehicles, German vehicles. Rubble, etc. These are easy punch too. Look, these guys are popping out just like that. Right? Really nice job. These are all uh, nicely aligned. No issues there. This is the only counter sheet that really has any bothersome stuff. These are all fine here, and these are all fine here as well. Kind of like the SS counters, like black, the black backgrounds are kind of cool. And Volsham Jaeger look really nice as well. You can see those. Okay. Anyway, fellas, that's a little quick little shrink rip to have a look at this. Uh, I'm not going to go through these other two packets because, quite frankly, I told David that I would remember what he told me and I've forgotten. I think these are uh, maybe, I don't know if they come with the game or not, or you can buy them separately. But these, in this series, there are overlays. And I think what they've done is printed these and see how it's got a zero here? 
27O. This is the overlay map already printed, right? Uh, here's map 27. I wonder if these are the extra maps. Are they included in this game or not? I don't want to lead you astray on that. David's going to think it's going to. No, there's six. There's only six maps. So these maps are probably something you can order as extras. So you've got. Is that right? One, two, three. Yep. Four, five, six maps. These have the overlays printed on them already. So there are scenarios that require uh, a stream or a canal down the middle, and you've got that already. Sorry, fellas, already printed there. And this one. There's overlays on this one. Yeah, these have overlays on them as well. Map 24. There's an overlay with a railroad. You digging it? Very sweet, very cool idea, right? Putting the overlay on the back. Save you having to put little bits down and then stick them down with blue tack or whatever you call it and uh, stick them or whatever it is that you call it over here. You don't have to do any of that. Uh, it's just printed on the back of the, the back of the map. Now I forget how they come. I don't know whether you have to pay extra for them. I'm sure you'll bitch and moan if you do, but you probably do. But otherwise, you can just whoa, not use them, right? Bunch of stuff in this game. The only thing I would say here that kind of uh, you know, mild surprise. Or for one for one reason or another is you know it would have been nice perhaps to have a deeper box because you're going to need to put a counter train here and as you can see I think even if you take out I imagine you could take out these smaller maps you're still not going to fit a counter train in there regardless beautifully presented lovely package uh, the finish on this is quite nice there it is. The heroes of Normandy. All right. Did that really take 17 minutes? Adios, mofos.